Wrapping up our coverage of the 2016 Big South Baseball Championships in Lexington, South Carolina this week. And it was Coastal Carolina and Liberty meeting for the conference crown for the fifth time since 2007. Saturday afternoon, the Chanticleers were one run better than the Flames. Coastal Carolina winning it 1-0 over Liberty. The only run of the game came on a Michael Paez solo home run in the third inning off a of Flame starter, Jack DeGroat. DeGroat otherwise today was brilliant. Career long, eight innings for the Flames right-hander. He allowed just the one run on three hits, and he struck out a half dozen Shauna Clear hitters. The Groat, however, couldn't get any run support from the Flames. Liberty's best chance came in the fifth inning with Dalton Britt on second base, and Peyton Scarborough lined a single to left field, but Anthony Marks with an outstanding throw to home nailed Britt at the plate. Flames missed the chance to tie the game. Then in the ninth inning, Liberty with a couple of men on, but unable to produce a run as... They ground into the double play ball. Dalton Britt to first base. They turn it back to first. Britt with the head first slide, but just out by an eyelash as Coastal holds on to win it by a run. 1-0 over Liberty. Tough way to go out on the season for the Flames, and afterwards we did catch up with head coach Jim Toman, Jack DeGroat, and also Dalton Britt, who played his final game here today. Yeah, I, I left it all out there, and it just wasn't good enough today. But, you know, it's... Really proud of the way we came back and didn't let the season kind of continue the way it was going. Um, I'm, I'm proud of the way we finished. I wish we could keep playing, but we left it all out there. So I've made the best decision of my life four years ago, and I decided to play here. And uh, four years later, I, I'm, I'm not surprised to, to see myself this sad to leave because I was very, very happy here. And well, this was a huge confidence boost, knowing that you know, I'm able to go out there and compete with competition like Coastal and pitch against people like High Point. I feel, feel bad that it's how it had to end for a lot of the guys on the team. This is their last game they're going to play. I mean, I'm, I can at least say that I, I competed and gave them my all today. Well, I mean, we battled the whole game, and uh, Coastal made four or five really good plays. Their freshman pitcher pitched really well. Morrison's the best reliever in the league, and he pitched very well. And uh, we just came up a little short, but really proud of my guys. Um, yeah, Don Britt's playing the game for the last two weeks on one leg, basically. He's got a bad calf muscle strain. And uh, Jack DeGroat, I think, grew up in front of your eyes the last two outings and really pitched well uh, against a top 25 team, a really good lineup, and gave up one earned run to a really good hitter. Um, well, we just came up a little bit short, but very, very proud of our guys, and uh, I thank God that I'm able to coach at Liberty. So the Liberty Flames finished their season at 31-28. and 28. Tough way to go out for senior shortstop Dalton Britt, who finishes Liberty's all-time leader in games played and in consecutive starts, 239 consecutive games. Britt played every game of his college career. That'll wrap up our coverage here in Lexington, South Carolina this week. Coastal Carolina wins the Big South Conference Championship in their final championship game ever as they knock off the Liberty Flames 1-0. Coastal moving on to the NCAA Regionals. In Lexington, South Carolina, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.